Ten-year-old Jonathan Kinnison drowned last month in a dark county pool. Dave DeMarco is live with how he's, with how he's being remembered in our top story at 11. Dave? Well, I talked to one child tonight who's taking Kinnison's death particularly hard. He invited him to that party, then watched as rescuers tried unsuccessfully to revive him. Spirits are high for many of the Troy residents who came out to the VFW for some music and prizes Saturday night. But for an 11-year-old Dark County boy also in attendance, summer has been difficult. It's been kind of the ups and downs. Some days I'm good and some days I'm bad. Samuel Brewer invited his lifelong best friend, 10-year-old Jonathan Kinnison, to a party for his 4-H club near Arcanum. He told me he was taking swimming lessons. And I told him, so don't go in the deep end. Then tragedy struck. And then he disappeared from my eyesight. And that's the last time I saw him until they pulled him up out of the water. Amy Schwausch and Cindy McKinney go to school with Kinnison's mother. Oh, that's awful, you know, for any little kid to have to go through that or even a parent loss of a child. She doesn't really know answers to what happened to her son. Um, it's just been basically she wants answers. Nobody's given them to her. But since they cannot explain why no adults saw the boy in time, all they can do is try to help raise money for medical bills and funeral expenses. Meanwhile, for 11-year-old Samuel, summer vacation and the innocence of childhood ended too soon. Have you still been going swimming? No. So you don't want to get back in the water anymore? No. Donations to help Kinnison's family can be made at any branch of Farmer's State Bank. Reporting live, I'm Dave DeMarco, 2 News on your side.